All right, guys, welcome again. Um, this time I shall be going over my default web browser, which I pointed out to you um, last time. Is Google? Um, it, not Google. Is Chromium web browser? Now you notice I almost said Google Chrome there because it's easy to confuse the two. As I say, I mean, to be honest, don't bombard me with questions about the differences if you don't know the difference because I only vaguely know the difference. Chromium, open source project, um, open source browser or what project that Google Chrome is based off. As I say, I think they are two separate things, but... I'm not sure with how separate they are, especially when you see this Chromium. And I tell you what, other than the branding and the uh, color of the um, <coughs> icon or logo or whatever, other than that, you wouldn't tell the difference. Um, that's what I say, and I'll go through that in a second. First off, what we'll show, what I'll test, is the um, start of speed. Now, this is on a Pentium 4 system with 1 gigabyte of DDR RAM. That's not DDR2 or 3, that's just standard uh, excuse me, here. standard DDR RAM. Okay. Right, so let's see. I'm clicking now. Now that wasn't bad on a system like that. See? It's all up. Now you now I wish I still had um I or partly wish I still had Firefox on, so just so I can compare them for you. But that is probably about the same speed as Firefox would open on a very fast up-to-date system so if you have a faster system you can imagine how fast it would open for you and just to show just to show you just to prove it this is chromium web browser chromium version 5.0.342.9 blah 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 ubuntu say so this one's made for ubuntu practically then copyright 2006 to 2010 the chromium authors blah 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 um, <coughs> uh, made possible by the Chromium open source um, project and other open source software. <laughs> now, as you see, I've customized this, used a theme called this. I think, to be honest, it's supposed to be to promote some DJ fella or something. I don't know. I hate that kind of music, but it just looks cool. It fits the uh, Bontree theme for me, so that's why I use it. Um, obviously, you've got your little speed dial kind of homepage thing here. Um, of like frequently used, frequently visited websites and such. Um, it's basically there isn't that much I can show you because it's identical to Google Chrome in almost every single way, other than the branding, like the logo colors and such, and the fact that it runs a lot more stable on Ubuntu. I've not tried it on other Linux distros, but it seems that. On Ubuntu and probably on Linux in general, Chromium is far more stable than Google Chrome. Also, if you, I mean, obviously this this is still the same like Omnibar or whatever. It will still work as a search bar as well as URL. So if I type in Google Chrome, could do a Google search for it, and there's Google Chrome, right? If I go for that, you see how fast it renders pages as well. It is just so lightning fast. See, get Google Chrome beta. You can get it available for Ubuntu, but it's beta, as I say. Um, to be honest, if you download it, you wouldn't notice much difference. So, you might as well use the Chromium version in the repositories. This version that's in the um, Ubuntu 10.04 repositories, that's not beta, that is seems to be perfectly stable, if anything, probably I'd probably say it's more stable than Firefox. It's fast, it's stable, it's basically Google Chrome for Linux. That's how I look at it. I don't care about the semantics or whatever. I mean, to me, it's just Google Chrome for Linux. Uh, my bookmark syncs work, you know, bookmarks are synced. Um, extensions work exactly the same as with Google Chrome, and these are the extensions I'm currently using. Ad block, um, an ad block extension. It's a uh, brilliant. Um, there's also a browser button um, for ad block, as I say. So if you install the ad block, you install the browser button, and you get some functionality here. Um, <coughs> better Facebook fixer. It's kind of like a boot, the version of 
boost for Facebook, but for Chrome, as I say, and like you know, there are some features missing or whatever, as I say, but it's you know not bad. Um, Go extensions that just gives me a shortcut to my extensions here. Um, invisible hand that basically helps when you are shopping online and such, and it can help show you lower prices, etc. Um, last pass. Now, if you're a Firefox user or a Chrome user, you mu you probably know about LastPass. In my opinion, the best password manager available. The best password manager available anywhere. I mean, I can't do without it now. Uh, stylish. Well, I'm pretty sure that you Firefox users, and a lot of you will know what that is, as I say. That's for your user styles. I used to use Stylish for Google Chrome, but now Stylish has been released. I'm using that at the moment, as I say, because it's better integrated, I suppose, with... Um, there's one style that I used to use for Facebook that does it... Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Couldn't stuff, I couldn't hide that. You honestly say it's getting late. Um, yeah, as I say, so it's stylish there. Too many tabs. I love that. A very useful... Look, if I open... I'm not going to open too many because I don't think the RAM could hack it on here, but... If I have a ton of tabs open, right, I click this and it gives me easy management of them, you know, and I can also suspend um, idle tabs if I want. I can suspend them to um, memory or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's say it's, um, it's to reduce, um, term, yeah, basically um, memory will be released, but forms and videos aren't saved. Okay, as I say, um, basically, basically the tabs are suspended here. They're kept safe, but um, you know, and the content is remembered or cached or whatever. But the memory, the RAM, will be released, as I say. But it just gives you a good, gives you a good little kind of you know um, tour of it and stuff. You can even customize the color there. It looks cool. It looks funky. Um, I won't go too far into it. Um, Oh, excuse me. Oh. Web of Trust. If you've seen my previous, um, a lot of my previous browser reviews, you'll have seen me using this um, with um, Google Chrome. Basically, if you've watched my Google Chrome um, review, which might have been on my previous account, my Six Bastic account, which is still active, I just it's just not active. In other words, I'm not going to be uploading any of my other videos to that account. They'll all go on on this account, but that account is still open, so my videos from that uploaded to that account are still there. So my Google Chrome review may well be on there. But if you look at that, basically, it will show you basically everything that's on here. You know, there's not really much more I can show you because to me, Chromium web browser on Ubuntu is just Google Chrome for Linux. It's far more stable than Google than Google Chrome is on Linux. So yeah, basically, just go to your software manager or whatever. Uh, wait for it to open. Look at me. Yep, there we go. And then just type Chromium into the search. Just start typing it, and look, the top result there. Now, it's saying remove here because I've already got it installed. You, you'll, for you, it'll be saying install if you've not got it. Just click on install, wait for it to finish, and there we go. You've got Chromium web browser, basically Google Chrome for Linux. It works perfectly well. It's perfectly stable. I've not seen one big or bug or problem with it. Uh, if you want to be watching Silverlight-related stuff, you may want to keep... Um, you may want to keep Firefox, but if you, to be honest, if you're that desperate about Silverlight, dual boot with Windows if you only have one system, as I say, or if you have multi if you have a second system or whatever, then use one system for Windows, run Windows on one, and um, just run Silverlight through Internet Explorer, as I say, what it's made for, basically. Um, that's basically it now, as I say. Hopefully I haven't run over. Um, I'm sorry that that wasn't very educational, but really there's not much that I can show you because I've already basically shown you that browser in my Google Chrome review. Because literally, other than the um, colouring of the logo or whatever, 
the, the logo colour and the branding as being branded as Chromium and the fact that it's open source, other than that, there's, you know, and the fact that it's far more stable on the next one, on Ubuntu at least, other than that, or all of that though, there's no real difference to me. No real difference whatsoever, as I say, to Google Chrome. It, like I say, it's just Google Chrome for Linux. So if you want to know more, watch my video um, review of Google Chrome. If it's not on this account, it will be on this on my old account named Six Bastic. No spaces, no capitals either. I don't believe. Um, anyway, that's about as much as I can say about that. Um, so thank. This is um, J800R. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.